Namaste. Namaste, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. Hamo ache hai, kaise hai up? And today we're going to be doing another food, food video. video. Woo, woo. Um, because <laughs> you know Anjali and I love this. This is how India cooks ninety thousand meals in less than three hours, and this is the best food review show. So we've done him yes. before. Um amazing amazing food we've seen food from pune we've seen uh the mumbai hundred dollar street mm, food challenge if you haven't checked that out that we knew he was gonna fail I mean, yeah um, but he failed miserably like, not <laughs> even close like barely eight dollars so if you haven't seen that video and our reaction to it the food looked delicious um but yeah but this i love this because this is um the i'm gonna try to say it Ashe Patra Foundation, where they feed meals to school children um, that don't have the money or the funds, or they want to make yeah. sure they get one good meal at least um, at school, and and that you can donate. So I know when we were looking into donating, um, more than many of you put this foundation down, and um, so this I'm excited to watch this to see how well they cook. Yeah. Um, delicious food, I'm sure. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yes, for children. So we have similar programs here. Um, they do breakfast and lunch at school. So if you need to come early in the morning on the bus, you can get breakfast and lunch. And um, and if you, um, to pay for it yourself, there is a, a way that it's government funded so that the kids get good meals at school at least before they try to focus on math and science and education yeah. and stuff because it's hard to focus when your little tummies are rumbling. So these are the hungry. kind of things that melt our heart. Yeah. Um, me being a teacher, so if you're new to our channel, I'm a teacher. Uh, not only a mom of three beautiful children, but a teacher. So this is the kind of stuff that melts my heart a little bit. Plus, Anjali and I love to see how food is cooked in India because yeah. that's the top of our list. Um, Anjali's going to run off the plane, grab some street food, and find as many temples nearby as she can possibly find. Yeah. And, and then just go jewelry, to the temple. And eat. Jewelry, <laughs> shopping, yeah. shopping, lots of temples, and delicious food. Shopping, is what she's hoping scenery, for. and food. That's, yeah. Festivals. Like, I don't know when. We can't come when it's super hot, but um, I don't want to miss too many of the well, wonderful festivals. Well, when is it, eaters. like, not super hot? <laughs> <laughs> well,. I guess it depends on what part of India, right? We know northern India yeah, is a little true. bit colder. Daddy's from southern India, which is probably where we would start our journey. But, um, yeah, we we definitely need to come. So yeah. we are going to start up this wonderful, inspirational video, hopefully, for you. Today we're heading to Bangalore and getting a first-hand <laughs> look at India's most impressive mega kitchen. Wow. A place that where in so just three good, to yeah. hours, they're cooking 90,000 lunches for Rodney. school kids <laughs> all around like, the area. Of the city, we feed about 200,000. Wow. That's a lot. This isn't just happening it's here. Amazing. The Akshaya Patra Foundation yeah. is feeding millions each day in 12 different states across India. Wow. Each day. Oh, this is incredible. Meet Sri Chanchalapati Dasa, the vice chairman of the Akshaya Patra Foundation. If children are hungry, they will not be able to get the learning right. experience that right. is intended. Today we're going to learn what it takes to cook at this incredible scale. Wow, that's an incredible sight to see. After the food is made, we'll follow it to its final destination. <laughs> Wait, you're also, are you all my friends? <laughs> so get ready to have your cold heart melted. This is India's mega kitchen in Bangalore. <laughs> we 
We are between Goa on our way right now to Bangalore, but we had to stop for a quick snack. Suggested by our fans, this is a must stop for any road tripper on their way to Bangalore. Here you're gonna find like a, a dosa. Sri Guru right? Hunter right? Shot up Hunter Dosa Hotel. One of the best hotels. There's yeah. no rooms. A type of pancake cooked on an old school cast iron flat top. Heated with wood and dried coconut husk. This is called a bene dosa. It just means butter. It means butter dosa because this huge vat right here is just full of butter. The batter is a mix of rice flour and lentil flour. Throw it on the flat top, add That's some butter. That's so good. Add mm -hmm. some more butter. Oh, more, more butter. butter. So over here, this is my platter. We've got two dosas, potato, coconut chutney. Oh, they have a dry coconut chutney yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. And then even more, <laughs> more butter. Mm, yum. So yummy. Auntie makes these. Yeah. They're delicious. Bam, here we go. Hello, sir. Where like are you going? I'm going to Belgium. Ah, see? A lot of people stop here. Well, how do I do it? I just break it off and yeah. low potato, low chutney. Oh, hold on. Wait for me. We can make a whole <laughs> thing out of it. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Bam. Oh, that's the best dosa I've ever had. What is spicy? The chutney is spicy. Yeah, the crepe itself has an amazing texture. It's very crunchy. It's so greasy when you pick it up, but so satisfying. Like you actually do taste the butter, which is something I was worried about. <laughs> Try it out again. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Holy crap, I really like it. Oh, this is my first time seeing this. They have a wet chutney and a dry chutney. The dry one, I don't know, those are more hardcore people. They just like it dry, no lubrication. <laughs> just putting it right in there. <laughs> It's like a coconut paste. Oh, so spicy. The butter just squeezes out like a sponge every bite you take. It's remarkable. Whoever recommended this place, yeah, thank you. Stosas are found all over India, but in the south, they're mm. just better. The rice that flour lends a nice cushiony so crunch, <laughs> a much more inviting mouthfeel than the more gritty lentil dosas in the north. We're going to uh, Bangalore. Which one do you call it? Bangalore or Bangalore? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Need a lassi after that. Bangalore, population 12 million, and the center for IT mm -hmm. in India. Right now, I'm headed to one of the three Akshaya Patra kitchens in the area. I am with the vice chairman of the Akshaya Patra Foundation, sir. Such a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Namaste. This is the world's largest non-government organization, and they've already served up three That's billion meals. That's a lot. Meals. That's it's nearly amazing. enough to feed half the world's population. Basically, we have a centralized kitchen. We cook large quantity of food and put them in an Yum. insulated mm -hmm. container and deliver it at the school. So the advantage of this is you can do things on a large scale you have better control you can use technology so it's a lot more easier and we have been doing this last wow. Wow. Years. instead of training staff at each school just create one centralized kitchen with a highly trained team who can crank out mm. thousands of meals per day this is the most efficient way to turn every single penny into a meal. But where does that money come from in the Ooh, first place? We have business that looks houses, spicy. Corporations. Spicy, yeah. We have foundations. Really good, and we have individuals, simple people who contribute just to feed one child mm. for a year. We've linked below to where you yourself can contribute some amount to this mission. So, how do they do it? What systems and strategies have they implemented over the last 18 years to pump out huge volumes of yummy, nutritious meals? Let's find out. It all starts in the kitchen around 5.30 a.m. We're about to head into the kitchen first. We wear these shoes so we're not bringing in any contaminants from the street outside. And do you... Yes. Do you need a hairnet? <laughs> they said we got to cover the ears, too, yeah. for the ear hair. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> The main kitchen is lined on both sides with giant cooking mm, vessels. Each vessel yummy. can cook so 1,000 meals in just 15 minutes. Basically, these cauldrons are for preparing rice. The type of food is important. Usually something with a rice or lentil yeah. base is easier to cook at scale. Lentils right now protein. they're cooking kitchen. Yeah, a so huge good. blend of lentil and rice. Once it's almost cooked through, they toss mm. in the masala. The meal yummy. is interesting for the children. And we avoid repetition of the menu so that it's always something new. It's they have a gravy nozzle. It like this, and, then the and there's a pivot day. point right here, like and then it can all tilt forward, and depending on the type of food. Beyond it just being a large volume, like this smells mm. incredible. Just amazing blend of Indian spices. So this is a second cooking room with even larger containers about twice the size. Food done, time to move it from here to here. Oh, and I like they have a special tool so you could never accidentally bump the lever. Right. From here, they're going to bring it to the portioning area. 
tanks can hold up to 1,500 wow. liters of liquid. He lifts up the lid. Yeah, there's a lid. Wow. And there are two. This place is so magical. I love it. From here, it's poured into small vessels that end up in the classroom. Look at this. Can I turn it? You would take advantage of this moment, wouldn't you? He was gentle with it. You don't just crank it, okay? You just give it a little bit of torque. There it goes, okay. There's so much power behind this. Oh, it is hot. It is very hot. That's good. Uh-oh, did I overfill it? That was an amazing experience. <laughs> and no one has ever tried to swim yeah. in this yet. <laughs> I would hope not. This temperature will be around 90 degrees. <laughs> I guess this is a good time to talk about food yeah. safety. Each food is cooked to 90 degrees Celsius to kill all bacteria. The shipping vessels are washed twice and steam cleaned right before receiving the food. Hair nets, aprons, gloves. No human comes in direct contact with wow. the food. And if ever there was a problem, a sample is taken from each batch just in case wow, lab testing is required. Finally, yeah, the containers really are sealed, labeled, and there. loaded making their way to nearby school. What we are hoping to do next, I think I'm gonna be joining a school and seeing what it's like to be the awkward kid in yeah. the lunchroom again. You think I'll find some kids who wanna hang out with me? Oh, absolutely. The new kid in the lunchroom, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love they give him a little tray. No child in India shall be deprived of education yes. because of hunger. This is the Akshaya Patra vision. Hi, everybody. Aww. Today, I'm going to eat lunch with you. But I promise I won't eat oh, all your good. food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The lunch is so much more than just a <laughs> They're meal. They're all like, Schools what? For the free lunch actually see an increase in enrollment, mm -hmm. and kids with a full belly perform better in the classroom and retain more information. You know when you're like eating some food and it's so good and you're like, mmm, -hmm. that is called yummy. <laughs> yummy. <laughs> the food truck is here. Yummy. Let's go say hi. Hello, sir. In here, we see all the containers they were loading up this morning, and just a couple of these are for the school. Here, she's taking a note of the amount of food. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, thank you. They got peanuts. Mm -hmm. If you don't eat all your peanuts, can I have some? <laughs> Course one for today, sweet rice and lentils and seasoned peanuts. Hey, what's your name? Manjuna. Manjuna, nice to meet you. Hi, what's your name? Mangnasa. Mangnasa, oh, nice to meet you. You know, my favorite part is that they gave me a kid's portion as well. Just grab it like that. Ooh, I'm gonna try some peanuts first. Oh, these are yummy nuts. Little salty roasted nuts. This is a texture I've not tried to eat with my hands before. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, that's sweet. Mmm. That can't be the right way. Let me watch you. No, that's the right way. She's just really good at it. She mm -hmm. makes like a little spoon with her hand. It's <laughs> <laughs> really good. I'm just a terribly messy eater. It's a little sweet. There's a little um. bit of cardamom flavor. It's really interesting. There's a whole other menu item behind us. Course two, a savory rice lentil kitchdi. This is the one we saw mm. being made in the factory. Oh, wow. The first one, very sweet, almost like a dessert. Oh, thank you. She's giving me the adult <laughs> portion this time. This one has curry leaves, tons mm. of delicious Indian spices. That's what I say when I don't know what's <laughs> Just a blend of Indian spices. And the so temperature true. is perfect. It's warm, but it literally cannot be too hot or it will burn your hand, because that's what you're eating it with. Oh, super savory, mm. delicious. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, he's cheating. <gasps> How, is he not an outcast here? Oh, damage. The kid next to me said damage. Someone's using a spoon. Perhaps he hurt his arm. Can we drink it? I didn't know I could just drink it. I can drink it. Sure. Can drink it. <laughs> not. I'm surprised I don't mm, like chapati. It's yummy. Yeah. It's kind mm. of what I expected, but. It's much faster. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> can you help me eat this? I took too much. Do you want half? No, 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 no. No, you eat a lot. You're okay. <laughs> Can we be friends? That's cool. What's up, YouTube comments? Made fun of my loneliness this whole time. Welcome, what's your name? A friend. I don't remember his name. Wait, what's your name also, again? Are you all my friends? <laughs> 
it's not enough for this nutritious meal to just be healthy. It's mm. got to taste good too. Kids are kids. Wherever you are in the world, if the food tastes bad, they're not going to eat it. Is this, what is this one? Ooh, Ooh yum! Angie's favorite. Yeah, but I wouldn't eat it like that. No. Mm -mm. Good. On some rice. I mean, like, I'd like take like a India, little this midday thing meal of it, but I never only like meal eat that child like that. eats all yeah. day. And while they're at school, Usually they're I'll getting a proper rice. education, yeah. which can open a whole world of opportunities and possibilities. If you'd like to contribute to this mission, please visit the link below. Even a few bucks can make a huge difference to children here. This food looked amazing. Yeah. I'm sure smelled amazing. If we could smell through the TV one of these days, that will happen, right? One of these days um, we can just go like... Eh. Reach in <laughs> and grab some sweet rice. Yeah. Mm, some peanuts. Yeah, looked good. And the reason behind it, you know, it's a, a separate private organization yeah. you know, that they started and they go by donations and... You know, it's just amazing that they've fed three, 300 billion. Three billion, yeah. I mean, just unbelievable. And that they're continuing to do this. And um, it's true. Like, kids need food in their bellies yeah. to focus on, you know, math and science and reading and writing and all those good things mm. you need to learn um, so you can be productive adults in the world. So that's amazing. And that it's a yeah. private, like we have, like I said, like the government does it. Um, and we do have some private organizations, but usually it's government funded. So this is nice that this is like their mission. This is what they wanted to do was to make sure every kid had a food in their belly so yeah. that they could go to school and, and learn something. And, um, those kids were adorable. Uh -huh. And they were really nice because, like, in India, people treat their guests like gods, and they especially showed that in this video. Right. Yeah, they brought him to the front of the class yeah. with the little kids and, um, you know, gave him his own plate of food and shared their food. Yeah, right? And feed them. Yep. And, you know, these kids need the meal. He doesn't, he doesn't obviously need the <laughs> meal, but, um, you know, they don't think like that. They're sharing their meal with him. Yeah. And, um, you know, telling them what it is and stuff. And so, yeah, really cute. Yeah. And such a great organization. And, um, you know, we enjoy watching these cooking videos all the time anyways because it looks so delicious. Yeah. And um, this is like deliciousness with a heart. So I hope you guys liked this as much as we did. And don't forget to subscribe. And join the wonderful Jan family. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.